Psalm 37, it says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut, up, cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. <clears throat> Commit thy way unto the Lord, and he shall I trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of him who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Amen. I could go on and read the whole chapter. It would probably do us good. But uh, I'll stop. That's, not, that's about a third of the way through. But that's chapter 37 of Psalms. And I'm telling you, the enemy does not care what he does to try to get us distracted or get us down or get us whatever. He just wants to do it. And I'm telling you, he don't, he don't waste a lot of time. He, he's importunate. Uh, you know what I'm saying in one way. But once he feels like he, there's another way, a better way to get us distracted or discouraged or whatever, he goes after the other way. But when he finds something that works, I'm telling you, he really is tenacious. He thinketh, the Bible says, to wear out the saints. And he knows his days are numbered. He knows he's only got a little while. Amen. To do his demise. But thank God, just think about it. In the morning, we're going to be home. It's not going to be long until we're going to be home. Amen. 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 We want all of our family, friends, and loved ones, and we want all those that uh, uh, that are not right with the Lord, we want them to get right with the Lord. Right. Uh, we were talking, I believe it was in uh, men's Bible study last night, talking about how Jesus might have felt when Judas reached over and kissed him. And Jesus said, Petraeus, thou the son of man with a kiss. You know, I mean... Uh, whenever, whenever Gehazi went after uh, the the leper, uh, you know what I mean, and and uh, come back and the prophet said something to him. He said, "Thy servant went no whither." He said, "Went not my heart with you." I'm gonna tell you, anytime you ever, you and I ever go away from the blessings of the Lord. The heart of God is grieved for us. Right, right. And he yearns for us to as quickly as possible get back on course and get back in the center of his will because <coughs> his will is the best way for us. Amen? Right. Yes, amen, amen. Who's got a request tonight? Amen. Let's pray for Brother Alvin. He's not feeling well and he needs our prayers tonight. Pray for Sister John Kingsley and his family. Amen. John Kingsley and his family. Amen. Pray for the managers. Is that one of the managers? Yes. Okay, and let's pray for uh, Misty. Yes, Misty, all right. And uh, the lady across the street, I tell you what, these, these people that you know and you love, but you don't really know how to express your love to them because you don't really know their language, it's hard. People right. don't realize it's hard. But I'm telling you what, if you'll love them and you'll love them in prayer, uh, God can help them to know. Amen. Amen. Brother Nick? Yes. Amen. Amen. Brother Smith? And I know you went by to visit today, but let's pray for Lisa Miller. Amen. Because she hurt her ankle. The lady that works at 7 Eleven has financially supports the church here. Amen. Amen. I tell you what, I appreciate those of you that reach out and go beyond the walls and talk to people about their soul. Uh, really and truly, 
You don't know what all God's doing because of that. Amen. We'd be a dead church pretty much if we wouldn't reach in outside these walls. Amen. Anybody else? Sister Angela, I'm sorry. That's all right. Last time. Pray for lost loved ones, unspoken requests, and lost loved ones. All right. Sister Pauline? Pray for Zach. He's covered up in snow. He ain't liking it. Okay. It's bad up there. Okay. <laughs> praise the Lord. Not praise the Lord because it's bad, but praise the Lord because God's able to do something about it. Amen. Amen. All right. Baby? Amen. Amen. Robert's wife, Robert texted us last night. He was planning on being at a uh, meeting last night, and he texted us and said the doctor had come in and told him that uh, Linda's uh, kidneys and heart was shutting down. And he said, there's not much more I can do for her, uh, you know, with that setting. And we literally stopped at the men's meeting and had prayer for her. And he texted before the men's meeting was over and said that they had come back and told him that her heart and kidneys had both started working again. Oh, thank you, Lord. And he said, Pastor, that's a miracle. Thank you. And I'll tell you what, God's good. Amen. God is good. So thank the Lord for prayer. Pray for uh, Sister uh, Brother James Martin and his wife Tricia, Tricia uh, as, as they're traveling. And they may already be back wherever they're going uh, in Missouri, West Plains, I think, or someplace like that. But pray for them. And, and all the people, Rhonda, Jean, the cousin of mine that's got his one leg, uh, he was here just, just two weeks before he went down with whatever's been causing him all the problems. Well, his wife did a test yesterday, and she has got COVID. And uh, definitely respect people that want to bump elbows. Uh, be careful not to just breathe on people and stuff. Let's honor one another and respect one another and be faithful and caring. Amen. And I'm not talking about don't live in fear, but by the same token, uh, let's be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Amen. 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 Anyone else? Let's pray for all those that will be traveling for New Year's. Uh, tomorrow's the last day of the year, and there's uh, just a lot of partying and drinking and stuff going on in the world. And let's pray for God to just protect the church. Amen? Amen. And protect those that he's chasing after. Amen. Brother McQueen? Amen. Amen. Pray for Bill and Connie. Amen. Pray for this service tonight. Yeah. Amen, Brother Richard. And then it's going to minister. And uh, looking forward to it. And believe God's going to help us. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I had two or three things that I was going to share. And I've been listening to a lot of preaching uh, this week. And uh, I tell you what, uh, y'all just may get a double whammy Sunday. Amen. And uh, so pray the Lord give me wisdom. And anointing. Amen. 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 Oh, praise the Lord. Would you stand tonight? Praise the Lord. Let's just each one go to the Lord in prayer in our own way tonight. Pray for Brenda, my sister, as well, for she will get to feel better. Lord, we just love you tonight. We praise you and thank you, Lord, for victory. We thank you for what you've done and are doing. God, you heard every request. Lord, we thank you for the big things and the little things.
page 130.
victory in Jesus. Amen. 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 You know, this is, uh, for a, a lot of us, this is the last uh, church service, unless you're going to a watch night service or going to another uh, church night service somewhere between now and then. This is the last opportunity you've got to worship God in church this year. And I tell you what, it was just, just a little bit ago that it was the first service we had with opportunity to worship the Lord. But my, how they come and go. They just, they come and go. And change happens. It happens. And uh, I just admonish you to recognize what God is trying to do in your heart and life and let him do it all the way. Amen. Amen. Be all you can be for God today. Yes, Amen. Because tomorrow it may be too late. Amen. Yes, yes. All right. Praise the Lord. We're going to come to you uh, tonight for the offering and say we thank you and praise the Lord for you. Uh, giving is given unto the Lord and God is faithful. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to be in your house tonight. As we come before you, Lord, we thank you for all of your blessings. And as we take up this offering tonight, Lord, we put it back in your hands. We multiply it in a mighty way for your kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. take Jesus. I was going to sing it Sunday night and uh, the Lord came by and moved. We didn't have a special song and I man, I'll take that any day of the week. Yes, amen. Yes, amen. I enjoyed that. I, yes. yeah, I, I'm fed on, off of it this week. I've had a rough week. The devil's been fighting because he knows I got blessed Sunday night so yes. he has to fight right. a little harder. Right. And uh, I'll still take Jesus. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 The devil can fight. The devil can come against us. And Jesus will still be the victor. And he will still win our battles if we let him. And uh, I'm going to be singing this song tonight. If you guys know it, just sing it with me. But I, I really do mean it from the bottom of my heart. I will take Jesus over all this world's pleasures, over all, all of it. You, you can take it all. I'm going to take Jesus. Oh, 
Good to be in the Lord's house tonight. Yeah. Let's just get in, let the Lord come by and help us have his way. Wasn't that a great service Sunday night? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I believe the Lord really has had a plan in mind. Yes, amen. Go ahead and testify, sister. Well, truly, I do love the Lord tonight, and I'm so thankful for his blessings upon me. When I come down, I had cellulitis in my leg, and it was giving me fits. But I thank God I got prayer, and yes, prayer amen. changes things. Yes. 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 That's how we get victories. Yes, amen. Believing in the Lord and, and right. keep going back to His Word and, and asking Him for help. And I got help. Amen. And the Lord's amen. helping me. Right. Uh, I just want to give the devil a black eye. Yes. Right. I love amen. the Lord tonight. Amen.
Amen. Well, help won't help tomorrow. We give up today. That's right. That's right, brother. Amen. Well, let's just get in and worship the Lord here tonight. Amen. Like Brother Jordan said, this last opportunity, as far as we know this year, to worship the Lord in the service. Amen. And I believe we can worship Him every day. How about that? Amen. Amen. We've got to give Him praise every day and get in His Word and, and, and seek Him every day with all of our heart, all of our soul, all of our mind. Yes. Amen. Well, let's go to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 20, is where I want to share here tonight. Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Let's ask the Lord to come by and touch us and help us tonight. Lord, in the mighty and in the holy name of Jesus, Lord, would you touch us and speak to us tonight. Lord, allow your word to reach out and touch our heart. And Lord, help us to give you praise and honor and glory tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 20, of course, that's a, a very uh, familiar verse, uh, chapter rather than uh, uh, as we begin to see the commandments of the Lord and the things that God has told us about. But in chapter 20 here in verse number 1, it says, And when thou goest out to battle against thine enemies, and seest horses and chariots and a people more than thou, be not afraid of them. For the Lord thy God is with thee, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And it shall be when thou comest, when you come, uh, and to come nigh unto the battle, that the priest shall approach and speak unto the people, and shall say unto them, Hear, O Israel, ye approach this day unto the battle against your enemies, and let not your hearts faint for fear. And do not tremble, neither be terrified because of them. For the Lord your God is he that goeth with you to fight against your enemies to save them. Amen. Amen. Aren't you glad he wants to save us? Amen. Amen. Not just save us from the battle, but save our soul. Amen. Amen. You can be seated tonight. Amen. I want us to look at these verses here when we think about it. Uh, has anybody never had a battle in your life or your Christian experience? Uh, probably not. Amen. Every one of us has gone through a battle. We've gone through a trial. We've gone through a time where the storm uh, was raging and, the, right. and it seemed like there was no, uh, no end in sight. Amen. But I'm glad the Lord comes by. Amen. Amen. Like we were singing about, help won't help tomorrow. If we give up today, let's hold on a little longer. Amen. Helps all the way. Amen. Amen. And so the Lord told them here in verse 1, When thou goest out to battle against thine enemies and seest horses. Did you ever think about that? The children of Israel didn't have horses. And when they saw the Egyptians coming and had horses and they were uh, mighty warriors, but probably the uh, strongest or the most uh, fearful military uh, army in the world at that time, and so when they came out and seized the horses, sometimes you can just look and see the, uh, the enemy and see his uh, uh, assets. You can see the horses. You can see the attack of the enemy. Amen. And then it said, and chariots. Yeah. Not just horses, but chariots also. Those were a fearful thing back in the battle that uh, in that time and in, in that period. Uh, those chariots, a lot of them would have blades on the wheels and they'd come up. And if you had horses, it can hop the horses and cause them <laughs> to be lame. <coughs> Excuse me, to be lame. And so when you think about it, chariots was a fearful thing. And then he said, and a people more than that. Yeah. Just think about it. Here they were facing the greatest army uh, the world had known probably to that time. And here they had horses, they had chariots, and a great number of people. Amen. But the Lord said, when you go out and see these things, he said, be not afraid of them. Amen. Amen. We don't have to be afraid of the enemy's attack. We don't have to be afraid of what the enemy wants to do and trying to destroy us and, and the armies that he brings against us and the horses and the chariots and the weapons of him. Amen. Because the Bible tells us that he that is with you is greater. Amen. Amen. That he that's in the world. Thank God for that. And so he said, don't be afraid of them, for the Lord thy God 
is with thee. Yes. Amen. When you think about it, when you go out to the battle, when the storm is raging strong and it seems like the attack of the enemy uh, is all around, realize the Lord is with you. Yes. Amen. The Lord said the battle's not ours, but it's his. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Aren't you glad for that? Amen. Glad that the Lord takes the battle and that the Lord will fight yes. for us and God is with us. Then I want to notice, want you to notice these next words here. Here's where I kind of want to get my thought tonight from. It said, the Lord is with thee, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. Yes, amen. He brought us up. Yes. He brought us out. Amen. Thank God for that. I'm glad God is a God like that. Yes. Amen. When we begin to think about where we were. Before we got saved. When we begin to think about our life. When we were in the bondages of sin. And, and all the wickedness. And all the despair. And all of the uh, uh, ungodliness that surrounded our lives. He brought us up. That's right. Amen. Aren't you glad for that? Amen. When we were down in the depths of sin. And as the Bible said. We were wallowing in that miry clay. And, and the devils had our uh, uh, destruction in mind. And had in his mind. That he was going to kill us. That right. he was going to destroy us. Yeah. Amen. But the Lord brought us up. Yeah. Amen. I'm so glad that one day that God called me out of sin. And God gave me that victory in my heart and soul. And forgave me of my sin. Right. He brought me up out of that horrible pit. And sent me on that yeah. solid rock. Yeah. Amen. And so the Lord, that's what he wants to do. He wants to bring folks up and out of their sin. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I believe we need to have the grace of God and the mercies of God. Amen. Not only did he bring us up out of sin, but he brought us up to a newness of life. Yes. Amen. He wants us to become a new creature. The Bible said, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Yes. All yes. things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Amen. We become a new creature in Christ. Right. Amen. We don't walk like we used to walk. Right. We don't talk yes. like we used to talk. Amen. We don't act like we used to act. Amen. We don't go to the places we used to go. Amen. We don't look at the things we used to look at. He brought us up. Hallelujah. Amen. We don't have to go down to the hog pen. Amen. As the Bible talked about the prodigal son there, that he feigned to have filled himself with the husk like the swine did eat. That word feign means it's kind of a pretending or a, a thinking about it. Amen. That's what the devil wants to get you to do. He'll get you looking at the slop of the world. Okay. Amen. He'll get you to looking at the ungodly things and, and thinking right. unga ungodly things. And, and he'll get you thinking, well, I guess I, I could partake of that. But God wants us up. Amen. Yes. He wants us up out of that old way. Amen. And so not only to a newness of life, but he gives us a new path. Amen. Amen. Not a path leads to destruction, not a path that leads uh, uh, to the destruction of our soul and our hearts, uh, but he gives us a new path to serve the Lord. He brings us up to that heavenly way. Amen. He brings us up to that straight and that narrow way. The Bible said there is a way, amen, that the world looks at, and the Bible said a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. That's what the devil wants. The devil wants us to have those things that will bring us to the ways of death. Oh, but the yeah. Lord, the Bible said that he came that we might what? Have life and have it more abundantly. He wants us to live. Amen. So the Lord, he didn't give us those old things the devil had thrown in our way. He gave us a new path. Okay. Amen. He brings us up. Amen. Aren't you glad the Lord will bring us up? Amen. When you're so far down and so filled with the sin and the wickedness and the, uh, even the torment of sin and thinking about how ungodly we had been. Amen. I'm glad he brought us up. Amen. Amen. I'm glad he brought us up to a newness of life. Yes, Amen. Not only that, but he gave us a new name. Hallelujah. Amen. He took our name and wrote it down in the Lamb's Book of Life that we can know that we have been forgiven of sin. Amen. And we can make it all the way in. He brings us up. Amen. And then notice here it said, not only did he bring us up, it said that the, God, uh, the Lord thy God is with thee, which brought thee up. Yes, sir. Out. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. He not only wants to bring you up, 
He wants to bring you out. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. It's not it's not good enough just to come and pray and, and get a good feeling and, and the Lord give you that joy of salvation and, and then go right back into the depths of sin. That's not what He wants. No, he, when He brings us up, He wants to bring us out. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So when the devil begins to say, you know that a snare and that trap that you used to go to, that thing, uh, as the Bible says, to lay aside every weight and the sin that does so easily beset you. And the devil begins to say, here, here, you've got to have this. You've got to partake of this. Right. You've got to live this way or you've got to act this way. No, you don't. And, and he not only brought you up, but he'll bring you out of that sin. Amen. He'll bring you out of that destruction. Amen. We don't have to be bound with the cords of sin anymore. Amen. We don't have to have those chains. As the Bible said, we were bound in the chains of our sin. And so I'm glad not only did he bring us up, but he brings us out Amen. as well. Hallelujah. Amen. He brought us out of that horrible pit. You remember when you were in the muck and the mire and, and it seemed like as you took another step, he's going a little farther down. He's getting a hold of you. I don't I really never been around quicksand that I know of, but I'd hate to step in it and find it pulling me down. And you try to wrestle against it and it takes you a little farther down. My, 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 what a horrible pit we were in. Our sin was taking us down. Our sin was about to swallow us up. Our sin was about to destroy us. Uh, you see, the devil had laid a trap. Amen. And he had caused us to step in to that horrible, miry pit. Amen. But I'm glad the Lord comes along to bring Amen. us out and to bring us out. Hallelujah. Up and out of our sin. Amen. Out of that bondage. Amen. That thing that used to keep us bound. That thing that used to cause us to fail God over and over and over again. Victory is in the name of the Lord tonight. Amen. Aren't you glad for that? The Bible said this is the victory. Even our faith. Amen. We can have faith in Him and know that He'll bring us up and bring us out and that God is with us. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm so glad God is with us. You know, He brought us out of destruction. We were on our way down to be destroyed, to go to a devil's hell. But the Lord said, no, if you'll call on me, Amen. To as many as call on Him, to them gave you the power to become the sons of God. You see, He brought us up and brought us out of sin that we could become the sons of God. That we could have that grace of God to live for Him. Amen. He brought us out of destruction. That destruction, it was a device, it was an attack of the enemy to destroy our soul. To destroy our hope in God. To destroy that place that God has for us prepared in the heavens. Amen. Not only did He bring us out of destruction, but He brought us out of death. Amen. As far as I know, I've never had a near-death experience, so I hope I don't have one until it's time to leave out of here. Amen. Anyway, when you think about it, we've all had a near-death experience. Right. The Bible says, the soul that sinneth shall die. Amen. The Bible said that ye were dead in your sins and trespasses. And so when we begin to think about where we were when the Lord came along and began to draw us in and began to speak to us to come up to Him. Amen. We were already dead in our sins. The Bible said the wages of sin is death. Yes, sir. That's right. Sounds pretty final, doesn't it? Just sin brings death. But Amen. Aren't you glad God had a had an answer to it? Amen. He had a way. He said, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So the Lord came along. He said, I am the Lord thy God that is with thee and brought thee up and out. Hallelujah. Out of that death. Out of that destruction. Amen. Out of the penalty of sin. Yes, we were guilty. And we deserve to have that devil uh, come along and destroy us and bring death to our soul. But thank God for the mercy of God. Thank God for the grace of God. Thank God that He came along and brought us up and brings us out as well. Amen. You know, the thing that we have to face is if we sin and we don't repent of our sin, 
or if we fail to ever call on the name of the Lord for His mercy and His grace, we face the final death. The Bible said those that have part in the first resurrection, blessed and holy are they. But those that have part in the second resurrection are going to be brought forth to the second death. What a horrible thing when you think about it. Not only die once, but have to die twice. But we can be born twice. Amen. And live on forever and ever. Amen. I believe we ought to understand God has brought us up and out of the judgment of God. Amen. He doesn't want us to stand there and hear Him say, Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. I never knew you. No, He wants us to hear, Well done. Now good. Now faithful servant of God, enter into the joy of the Lord. Amen. That's what God wants. He wants to bring us out. He wants to bring us out. He wants us to come out of that judgment of God that we can hear Him say, Well done, thou good and thou faithful servant. Yes, Amen. I'm looking forward to that day when we can hear Him say, Well done. Yes. Amen. He wants to do that. He may be here tonight thinking, Well, there's things that's going on in my life that I just can't seem to get the victory over. And give it to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Give it to the one that is bringing you up and out of that thing. Amen. It may be a torment of mine. It could be a, a, a situation maybe you've gone through or are going through that seems like the enemy keeps coming along and telling you you'll never, ever get victory over this. You'll never be able to make it around this or through this. Amen. But let me tell you, by the grace of God, you can. He wants to bring you up. Amen. He's with you. He wants to bring you up. And He wants to bring you out of that destruction. Amen. Amen. I know there's a lot of things. And, and I, at one point in my life, some things that happened in the ministry that had kind of got me down. And all I did when, when I worked a secular job, and so when I came home from work, I tell my wife, I said, I just want to go home. And she thought, well, don't you enjoy being here with me? Enjoy our house that we had at the time, and I, and I did. But it seemed like the enemy was discouraging me. Thinking right. it's all over. Thinking right. there's no more hope. Amen. Some things that it looked like my ministry was over. The church I pastored was not pastoring it anymore. But God began to speak. I've given you a message. I've given you the word of God. I've given you hope and help. Amen. So as I began to think on that situation, that's just a temporary thing. Amen. The enemy could come along and take away a ministry, but not the ministry that God has given you. Amen. God opens the door. God prepares a way. Amen. So I began to study and think through the word of God and, and got to look at it. David, when he came and saw Ziklag, the city that he was living in, was burned to ashes. Right. His family was gone. All of the possessions, everything was gone. And to make it even worse, not only was it all ashes, but the men that were with him said, let's stone David. Right. They were all against him. The Bible said David encouraged himself yeah. in the Lord. Yeah. Amen. The Lord will come along beside you. The Lord will help you. Amen. The Lord will bring you up and out of that thing. It wasn't too long I got to say, Lord, help me be encouraged in you. Lord, to be encouraged in what you're doing. God, encouraging your grace and your mercy. It may seem like it's the darkest night. And I've had other dark nights since then, but God always has assured me that He is with me. He is with us tonight. Amen. If we'll let Him, He wants to bring you up and out of whatever you're going through here tonight. He wants to give you the victory. And remember, the Lord thy God is with you. Amen. 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 He's with us. Amen. Amen. So when you see the chariots, when you see the horses, when you see the people that are more, amen. That's the way, I believe it was Elijah you got to thank it and said, Lord, I'm the only one left. And God said, no, no, no. I preserved, I believe it was 7,000 that have not bowed the knee. Amen. You're not alone. You may seem alone. It may feel like you're all alone. But God is with you. The saints of God are with you. Amen. Sometimes we're just too maybe ashamed or embarrassed to say, hey, brother, I need some prayer. I need some encouragement in the Lord. Would you pray with me? Amen. I've had different preachers reach out and say, pray with me about this. 
Yeah. And we pray and seek the Lord. And it wasn't too long until they were up. Yeah. Out of it. And God was with them all the way. He's with us tonight. Amen. And I believe whatever you may be facing, God wants you to know. He is with you. And he'll bring you up yes. and out. Father, we thank you tonight for the word. We thank you, Lord, for the truth. Lord, that you loved us so much. Lord, that you were willing to give your son, Father. Lord, that we can have the forgiveness of sin. And Lord, through our trial, through our battles, through our storm, Lord, help us to know that you're with us. Lord, that you'll bring us up and out of that thing. Lord, give victory tonight. Lord, meet every need. Touch every heart. Lord, encourage the saints of God that we can know, Lord, that you're there for us in our times of need. And we'll thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Why don't you come on in and seek the Lord here tonight. Amen. Let the Lord help us have his way tonight.